Getting your next great technological idea off the ground could just be a click away thanks to the latest digital trend. Here to set the stage for these developments, Neil Fox. Neil, what are some of these trends in software development? For years, in fact, for decades, analysts like Forrester and Gartner have been talking about the CIO and the CTO role having more evolution in being a business partner, uh, coming to the table as a true executive and not somebody that's just controlling cost, but really driving the business and driving revenue. Well, I'm happy to say that here at 2015, that trend has come to fruition. Today, CIOs and CTOs, VPs of development, are true business partners with their with their companies. If you're a CEO and your CTO or CIO is not having a seat at the table, don't think you're going to be around very much longer. So on the business side, that trend, I'm happy to say, is finally complete. Now, big data, of course, is one of those buzzwords in the tech sector today, yet little is really known about how it operates. Can you briefly tell me about its function and how companies are taking advantage? Let's think about big data versus small data. Small data is what we've had in the past, which is managing essentially um, records coming from uh, both uh, internal and external systems that are very precise, right? Company name, address, telephone number, uh, little bits of structured data. Think about big data. That includes not just those, those pieces of information which we are collecting, but it also includes unstructured data, data um, that is typed into freeform text fields like notes from a healthcare provider or remarks that you might make about um, a product or a service or even a tweet or an Instagram post or something like that. So we think about big data being um, the underlying infrastructure, the database structure, the hardware that is distributed that is needed to compute all of these records, both structured and unstructured data. And then the other component of it is the analytics that sit on top of that. So now that you've got all these millions and billions of records, what do you do with it? How do you make sense out of it? And so the big analytics that sits on top of all of that data um, not just tells you in a descriptive way what's happened in the past or what might be going on currently, but they're adding predictive analytics. What do you do with that data? What does it mean? Can we predict and we can shopping trends or healthcare trends or other kinds of important actions to take based upon that data? Now, beyond these trends, what are the key challenges for companies today in leveraging new technologies and in software development? I would say the number one challenge that we see from our clientele is uh, what I would think about is business agility. How do we make sure that we are as nimble as we can be? Uh, today, if you have a smartphone or even you're using web applications, those applications are being updated on a constant basis. So uh, agility is number one challenge and number one opportunity. If you're not um, conducting agile methodology, if you're not seeing your business look at, at their uh, audience and their feature set and the value that they're delivering in a very real time way, you might need some assistance. Number two is access to enough scalable resources. We had talked just a minute ago about big data. Those resources, people that understand the technology and the statistical analytics that sit on top of that are in high demand and scarce availability. So getting enough of those resources to make sense and to turn that into opportunity is a big challenge. And then the third one is really alignment between R&D development and the business, getting them together, uh, not just for short-term planning, but for long-term strategic growth. We've seen a number of companies that kind of uh, have had one hit, right? They've had a great idea. They've brought it to market. It's kind of hit its maturity phase. And then, well, now what, right? What's our next plan? So you don't want to be a one-hit wonder. You want to have a strategy for long-term growth. Now, how will your company help overcome some of the challenges that you identified? At SoftServe, we're really focused on, on, on those three major challenges that we just discussed. Access to scalable resources um, is really where a lot of companies get introduced to us. They're looking for global resources where SoftServe has got development centers throughout uh, Eastern Europe, and we can hire and build teams of any size, whether be two or three or a hundred or two hundred people in order to fill the gap on, on 
Um, those areas where companies need some additional assistance. Area number two, we, we do have a large consultancy practice to help you build long-term strategic plans. So um, if you do need help in that area, uh, we have people that are located again throughout Europe and the U.S. that can work with our clients to make sure that they're thinking about all the implications and all the opportunities for big data or mobile applications or you know any other uh, technical platforms, maybe modernizing their existing applications into mobile or, or uh, cloud-based apps, we, we help with that too. But the most important element that we bring to the table is in this concept of agility, uh, which is where most companies seem to have uh, the biggest challenges and struggle most, not just in making the most efficiency out of their software development practices, but helping them align to the business and build a culture and a philosophy of kind of real-time dynamic change and dynamic adoption. Now, finally, what's the one thing CEOs should be doing today to position their company for the new digital economy? If we think just a few years into the future, intelligent applications will be very much like the web applications of today. If you're not a company that has a strategy for managing your data, validating it, normalizing it, and analyzing your big data, then you're going to be behind the curve the way that companies relate to the table with web development and web applications. And just a few years from now, big data is going to be driving the growth and the usefulness and the value across industries, whether it be healthcare or retail or enterprise technology or, or even emerging companies, they're all going to be built on on big data analytics. So that would be the one area I would focus on if I was a CEO today.